Hey yo Pluto, you going brazen? Let that shit ride, 88. Came out the cell, ain't play no games, had to jump back on them now. I knew that was gonna change with me, my mama told me that. So to say the arguments and petty shit ain't doing that. Taking chances every time I walk outside to turn my back. Sometimes you gotta face the truth like you on FaceTime. I told my dog I got that back like we on the baseline. I keep that now they think I'm in the loop, you can rage on. They play with freaky on my mama, man. who we gon' say some? I'm just sipping it down with piss while I got demons in my body. We grown, we just be fucking, we ain't gotta have. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, man. The life of Keisha Cowboys, man. And y'all know what today is? Taco Tuesday. That's right, man. It's Taco Tuesday, man. Look, I want to apologize for last week. I didn't drop a video for Taco Tuesday. I took that time out for me, my wife, my two sons, and my daughter to go out and grab us some tacos, man. You know, that, that family time, don't take it for granted. So I had to step to the side. Hang out with the fam for that Taco Tuesday, man. But today, we back with the Taco Tuesday, man. And today, I'm bringing y'all some pork chop tacos, man. Courtesy of Larry Cook. That's my brother-in-law. What's up, Larry, man? Appreciate you for watching the videos and giving us your suggestion of the pork chop tacos. So that's what we're going to be bringing you today. Look, man, if you're just watching the channel or if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn your notification bell on so you'll be notified when we drop another video. Also, man, if you want to get a shout out, a post notification shout out after the video is over, all you have to do to do that is to subscribe to the channel, comment down below, I'm subscribed, and I'll be choosing somebody to give that shout out to, man, all right? But with no further ado, I ain't going to talk your head off. Let's go ahead and get into these pork chop tacos. Let's go. Alright, so I'm going to start off right here. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven kind of small to medium sized pork chops. And all I'm going to do is just cut these maybe in, in threes for right now. Maybe fours for right now. Once I sear them a little bit, then I might um, end up cutting them up a little bit more. Cut them to this side, that way they'll be a little bit more tender. Because you know pork chop, you got to cook pork chop the right way. If not, it'll be kind of kind of chewy. Cut it in half. Cut that one in half. It helps if you got a sharp knife too. All right, my season I'm going to be using is steak and chopped seasoning, onion powder, black pepper, uh, garlic powder, salt, cayenne pepper, and then, of course, my lime. All right, I'm going to start off by squeezing my lime, my whole lime. I got it cut up in two separate parts. Squeeze my lime in here. too juicy though but I don't want to use too much anyway also, also I'm going to add just a taste of zesty Italian if you don't use Italian for marinating it's really good just put a little bit of that in there Come down the line. Cayenne. Salt. Garlic powder. Now when you're using this amount of different seasonings, you don't really need much pepper. 
onion powder. Steak and chop seasoning. So I'm just bringing this together. You gotta make sure your hands are clean. Your hands are clean. I'm gonna just bring that together. And get them flavors all the way through there, man. All the way through. And you can start smelling all of that season, man. Coming together. Smell real, real good. Alright, got my skillet. And I'm going to be using some extra virgin um, olive oil. So I'm going to just coat the bottom. Just try to coat the bottom. You don't need too, too much in there. And man, look who, look who done joined us, man. <laughs> I told y'all, man, this guy right here, he gonna make his guest appearance every single time, man. All right, I got my skillet set on like 250 right now. While my oil was getting hot, I went on ahead and cut up me just a little, little handful of uh, fresh cilantro. So what I'm gonna do is once I throw my meat in there, I'm gonna add the cilantro. This is uh, it's ready to go ahead and throw the meat in there, so I'm finna go ahead and drop my meat in there so I can start it to sear. Go ahead and let this sear to my liking. Uh, you can let it sear to your liking, however you like it. Some people like it cooked harder. Some people like it cooked a little lighter. Uh, with me, I like mine. If you watch all my other videos, I always tell you I like that little crunch. I like just a little bit of crunch around my edges. That lets me know that it's done, and also it gives the taco like a different, a different little, a different little bite to it. If you, want to, if you want to say a little bite. So I'm going to go ahead and let this sear, man, and I'll check back in with y'all. So as they sear it, you probably want to kind of turn them. You know, not too much. You know, you don't want to disturb them too much. Just kind of let it flip them one or two times. Just make sure they cook it evenly. Take long. See, when you're doing pork chop tacos, this is the key right here. I pulled out my meat right before it was almost seared the way I like it. This is nothing but seasoning right here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that. Take this one here out. And I'm going to bring my oil back to uh, boiling, like, you know, like I'm about to fry it. And I'm going to take my pork chop, show you what I did here. Got my pork chop, put it in some batter, some flour. While it was halfway done, I'm going to mix this up, bring it back to a boil, and then I'm going to finish frying the pork chop. So I'm going to mix the pork chop in the batter and get them all battered up. I'm telling you, this right here, this is going to change the game. It looks messy, but man, when I tell you, you get fried pork chops, man. And they're going to be tender. Just by beating them up this much, uh, in the batter, beating them up like this is going to make them real tender. And they're going to fry real good now. I got my grease, my oil back up. So now I'm just gonna drop these in there. The 
Remember they cooked halfway. So now I'm just frying, basically just frying the batter. All right, got my pork chops all ready. Topped with a little bit of cilantro. Now I'm about to get the rest of the meal ready. All right, now, now that I have my meat ready, I'm gonna put on some black beans. Put those on like medium, uh, wrong one. Put those on like medium fire. And while that's cooking, I clean my skillet out. Right here I have some cabbage and some red bell peppers. So I'm going to kind of fry the cabbage up a little bit. You know, the cabbage will cook down. You don't really need nothing in the pot. It's going to make its own water. So I'm going to go ahead and throw those on and get that rolling. For my tortillas tonight, I'm going to be using the Guerrero, Guerrero Tostados. So I'm going to be using the heart. So I'm going to switch it up a little bit. But let me go ahead and get this cabbage on, man. Y'all stay tuned, man. I'll be seasoning my cabbage with just not too much. Just some salt and pepper. Got some onion powder. And just a tad of fajita seasoning. That's pretty much all the seasoning I'm going to be using. And, and for my bacon, I'm going to be using one piece of cherry. Cherry wood bacon. So I'm going to let that fry. And on your bacon, you don't want to let it go ahead and cook all the way. You want it to kind of finish cooking with your cabbage. So I just get that started. That also gets the pot, I mean, you get your skillet, get some juice down in there. Man, that smells good, man. Ain't nothing like that bacon. Bacon smells good. It don't have to be in the morning time. I'm gonna let that work a little bit. I'm about to go ahead and season my, my cabbage. Pepper. Tad of fajita seasoning. Just a little bit. Salt. Onion powder. Go ahead and whisk that up just a little bit. So the bacon done calmed down, it's, it's ready now. So I go ahead on and throw my cabbage in here. Bring y'all closer so y'all can see what's going on. Like I said, you know, cabbage make, make its own water. So I'll let that get to rolling a little bit. In the meantime, man, let's go check on the beans. The beans going pretty good. You know, I just season these with a little salt and pepper. You know, not, not too much. You know, once they get to kind of boiling a little bit, Throw me some pepper in there. Just a little bit of salt. And I like to use just a little bit of butter. Not that much. Let the butter go ahead and it down in there. Yeah, man, this cabbage smells so good. I'm telling you. And I'm going to like fried cabbage, baby. Fried cabbage. Hey, look, man. While we get this cabbage right, check on my beans. Get my beans right, man. For those of you who haven't done it yet, man, y'all go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Turn your notification bell on, man, so you'll be notified 
when I drop another video. Alright man, it done calmed down. That means she's still getting ready. And when you're cooking cabbage, man, you want to make sure that cabbage is done. You know, you always want to make sure your cabbage is done. So I let this go ahead on and fry a little bit more. My beans, it don't take long for beans to get done, man. I know I shouldn't be using this spoon right here in this pot. You know, my wife see that, she's going, hey, why are you using that spoon in there? You trying to scratch it up? No, I ain't going to scratch it up. Trying not to touch it, but y'all hear it, though. But we'll tell her I ain't touch it because, you know, I'll turn the volume down or something, you know. Ha! You know how y'all women are. But, yeah, let me go ahead on and turn that fire all the way to low. Still frying over here. Got the tost tostones over there in the corner. Man, them pork chops, man, when this cabbage get on there, it's gonna give it a different, just that little crunch, just a different type of flavor, man. Then I'm gonna be making me some, um, some sauce. I'm gonna use some lime, and I'm gonna grind those up in the lime and make me a little sauce, man. That thing gonna be crunchy so good, man. And I'm telling you, this top go toot, 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 toot. Say it with me, man. Tuesday, this Taco Tuesday finna be lit with these pork chop tacos now. I'm telling y'all, man. See what we're looking like. Oh, man, smelling good. Smelling good. Let me go in and get this thing ready, man. I'm gonna start preparing my toast, tostonies over there. When I get back with y'all, y'all stay tuned, man. All right, man, I got my bell pepper. I got some red bell pepper, I got some yellow bell pepper, and I got some onion. Yeah, I know a lot of y'all women out there is like, ooh, that's so pretty. But now nah, I'm finna chop it on up. Go ahead and put, go ahead and put these in there real quick. Nah, right, man, my cabbage is almost done, man. Almost done. All right, so now I'm adding some fresh cilantro to my sauce. Add my lime. Nice juicy lime right here. Get all the juice you can, man. Right now I only got one lime. Probably need more than that, but I'm gonna just see how see how it look. One of them. You gotta just keep on squeezing. Keep squeezing until you get all that juice out of there. All the juice. I got a half of tomato diced up. Not too small, but the blender will take care of that. Add just a little water. This probably equals to about uh, maybe a tea, maybe a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons. So I add two of those. Add the second one. And right before, right before I blend, I'm gonna add just a little bit of pepper. Still gotta have that flavor. And just a tad. Tad bit of salt. Alright, now it's time to blend it on up, man. <clears throat> just look how just look how that look, man. Don't that look so good? Them colors in there. If you haven't noticed, man, about my taco Tuesday, it's about color. You know, I have my plates, my cup. Food looks so colorful. Now I'm finna chop them guys up, man. she on there and believe it or not man I have never used this this is actually my wife she be using this for her smoothies and stuff so I'm about to give it a shot man see what we got going on Ha! 
Excuse the noise, man. If you had your volume up, I know it probably blasted you out, man. But man, look down in there. Look in there, man. Man, that stuff smells so good. All I need now is to add me some hot sauce in there. But, all right, man, I'm gonna hit it one more time. <laughs> volume check, volume check. I know it blasted y'all out. If you're listening to this in your car or watching this in your car, I hope it didn't scare you and ran you off the road or you don't, you're not in the house and have some baby sleep or whatever. But yeah, it's good and mixed it up right now. It's mixed up real good, man. So let me go over here. What we got? Got the beans already. The cabbage is ready. All right, man, so I got everything ready. Got my cabbage and bacon, got my black beans, got my pork chop, my tostado, and my sauce. And a special guest right there. <laughs> All right, man, look, I'm going to add these black beans first. Yeah, you notice I don't have the regular spoon no more. Scratching up the pot. And no, I ain't scared of my wife. I just I just chose to use this one right here. So I'm going to put my black beans on here. Black beans. Then I'm going to put my pork chop. You can add as much pork chop as you want. Now I'm going to add some cabbage. Yeah, I'm making a mess right now, but I ain't spilling that. Add the cabbage on top. Man, this sauce is going to be so good. Add my sauce. Once again, you put however much sauce you want. It doesn't matter. And this is what I call pork chop tacos. Man, I got my pork chop. Got the black beans on the bottom. Got my sauce that I mixed up with the, the red bell peppers, onions, the yellow bell peppers, and some fresh cilantro. And they're done. There you have it, man. Another Taco Twos is in the books. It's your boy Life from Quiche Calvers, man. Listen, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn your notification bell on so you'll be notified when we drop another video. The pork chop tacos, man. They, they, they something serious. And then with that sauce, man, I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Y'all go ahead and try this thing at home, man. Make sure you watch the video. Like it. Share it. Taco Tuesday night. Go back and look at some of the, the other uh, videos we got going on. This is episode... Six, I think it's episode six, man. Let me see. We had cardinal salad first, then we had the shrimp, then we had the chicken, then we had the vegan, then we had what was after the vegan? I'm tripping right now, man. But you want to find out, just go back, like for Keisha Cow and hit the channel, man. Make sure you subscribe. And then you can check out all the different type of Taco Tuesdays that I did, man. All right? But, like I said, this video, courtesy of Larry, Larry Cook, that's my brother-in-law. He came up with the pork chop tacos. I have something that I'm going to do next week already. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know. I'm going to do oxtail tacos. 
next week i'm gonna do oxtail tacos man so make sure y'all tune in i thank y'all for watching the videos all of my people that subscribe to the channel man i appreciate y'all if you are just watching this video or if you're new to the channel man i appreciate y'all for supporting life of keisha cowards man keep it up your boy wicked bees man and i'm out of here i had to come back so i could eat one of these with y'all man Mm. There's so much, so much flavor in here. We got that extra crunch. The extra crunch coming from the cabbage. Hmm. Y'all gotta make sure y'all try this, man.